guys, welcome to Stoneheart, we Banto, and we're back with our Kingdoms and Castles Stoneheart Town. Today I'm gonna do another building, it's uh, gonna be for the Mason, and uh, that's where we're gonna have a Mason working, crafting with some bricks and make some stones and make some sculptures and such, and that is something that we're gonna start working with pretty soon since we do have a Mason promoted. Which, um, we do have a workbench out here for our Mason that we'll be working at. I haven't really given him any work yet, so I think we should first start to do a little bit of work. So something that we could do would be to make some stone molds, and they are really useful. I'm gonna put to like, craft two of them, so that's like the first weapon our soldiers are gonna get, and that should hopefully help us up with protecting Bantonia a lot better. I also want to maintain some of these chests, they're really really useful, they can hold 64 items, so they are quite useful. We might want to make some of these uh, cobblestone fences and maybe we can find some pretty good things later on where we can actually use them. Let's make some furniture, some tables, some chairs and that should be pretty good. Something we're gonna grab later on is uh, the cook spoon so we can make some delicious food. And also the potter's cutter which means that we will be able to do things with potters, potter windows, potter doors, and we'll also be able to make uh, these uh, clay bricks which we will be using for building this house that we got over here which is uh, the cottage, which is our like second house. This is the smallest one and then we go for this uh, medium house. So that will be needed for making this one, so something we should try to achieve pretty soon. And another thing we want to get pretty soon is also like the blacksmith hammers a little bit further in, level 3 mason. So we can like bet, get some better weapons and then later on also get some trappers knives so we can capture some animals and get some pelts and with pelts we can make some leather and with leather we can make some armor and be able to survive hopefully a lot better. So before we start with this house let's go and uh, scavenge and look around in wilderness for a few stones. We have a few ones lying around here so that should be doing pretty good. Okay, so that will give a little bit of stone. I'm just gonna harvest a few things. There, it's Pretty good to go around in wilderness and look for some flowers, like some silkweed. So we can use that for like the tailorer when doing stuff later. And also the flowers will be useful for our herbalist, which we should probably probably try to get today. But of course the yummy yummy berries. That should be pretty good. Let's chop down a few more of these trees. Okay, there we go. And our granary, it's getting built. I'm already gonna put to hold a few things. So in this box I wanna hold plants and also wanna have food. So that's pretty much uh, the things that we're gonna use in the granary. We're gonna add it to this one as well. Okay, there we go. I will configure the small ones later, but we got these two big ones for now. Which hopefully should help a little. And I wanna remove like a few of these stockpiles, like this one. It's not gonna be sitting here, so I'm gonna move them to some place where I feel they're gonna be a little bit safer. And actually the carpenter, he should be working in his very own store. Uh, that should be a lot better, so I'm just gonna undeploy this one. At the Mason, we're gonna move him... Oh, this is pretty cool! A new thing for Alpha 23, you can actually see a bar of what you're crafting. You can perhaps even see it if you select the Mason. Let's have a look and see how Mr. Flargan is gonna do. I think we're gonna see the progress bar here as well. Okay, you only see it on the workbench. But that is, that is pretty cool, that is pretty cool. Fans are having a talk with the villagers. Hello, Jerry, what are you talking about? Oh, they're excited about the windows? What do you think about the windows? Pretty nice, pretty nice. Seems like they're quite happy about the windows. But the reason I'm getting a lot of this stuff away from here is because I would like to get this away and we can like plan the town a little bit more, get some houses out, even though we haven't built them, we still have them like planned out for kind of where they're gonna be later on. So I'm gonna drop for now, the mason gonna be here, but he's gonna get his is a very own workplace pretty pretty soon. And for now I think we can drop the campfire, let's have it close to the farm. Also go for the flag and put it here. A little bit more roads, just planning a tiny bit. And we're gonna do it probably, probably a town square pretty soon. That's my plan and idea at least. So we're gonna go out a little bit like that and we can't forget this thing. And let's maybe build this hovel. I'm not sure if we can have it at that spot though. Maybe remove that and we put it out somewhere else. We could have one that sits like, uh, maybe a few ones even. Sit along this road. 
Let's go for two houses there, that should be pretty good. We need some more like houses where people will be living at. They're quite busy with this one. But maybe as maybe we could actually... Could sell them to do this house, but let's maybe wait a tiny bit. You're in the bell tower, level 2 farmer, congratulations. Let's go ahead and promote uh, and name this person here. So this farmer here is going to be Cobby Kid, so welcome Cobby Kid to Stone Harf in our town. And uh, that's going to be awesome to have you here, man. I'm going to build the windmill pretty soon as well, we built in late episode, but we're going to wait a tiny bit with that. So why don't we go ahead and uh, we're going to do the mason's house. So we need to start with the floor. I think it makes maybe sense to have a stone one, but maybe in make the floor in wood instead. Since most of the lower part of the house is going to be made in... Um, it's going to be made in stone, so, so I think this is going to be better. So let's see, this is maybe a little bit too big, so this size could perhaps be a bit better. 11, uh, let's do 11 by 13. That should do pretty good. Super Merchant, do you want to buy anything? We do have some upgraded work outfits, that could serve us pretty good. Got some invaders, I'm gonna wait with them a tiny tiny bit. Looks like we can't really afford anything for now, so we're just gonna have to skip this trade for now and let's see invaders. Looks like we got some stonelings, I think we need to get a, like a second soldier pretty soon. Bantam might need a little bit of help soon, maybe already now even. So let's just look a little bit at our people. So Ellen, Gem could be one, but Gem do have an passionate trapper, so we're gonna avoid make her to a trap uh, to an warrior then. But uh, Cecily Burley hunts. Looking pretty good, pretty good stats. Game's gonna be a potter. Okay, let's go for uh, Cecily. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be our second soldier. Looks like Bounty is doing pretty okay for now though. Gonna get a little bit of company now, so he don't have to defend the town fully on his own. Cecily, level 1, footman, congrats. Okay, there we go, so we probably feel a little bit safer now. Hopefully a lot safer, really. Okay, let's just look around a little bit more before I do anything. How much, like, wood do we have for the moment? Okay, we have a lot of wood and quite a good amount of stone, so we should be... Pretty safe on that. So let's get the going and let's make the mason's house. Like I said, this is mostly gonna be made in stone. We're gonna have like a dark color to start with. Base around with the walls. So there we go. Then we're gonna make an uh, entrance, a little door, and let's see what kind of size would be the best for this. Looks like it would be a small door. Okay, so that's gonna be good. Let's go ahead and we're gonna throw in one of these. Gonna be awesome. And what we might want to do around this also is to add this little thing around it. For the entrance, and we're gonna add more of these colors. So we might maybe, let's make this one, one more block in height. It's just gonna make it look a little bit better if we do it. Do it like that, so then we're gonna have a little thing here, pretty much. Something like that for the entrance and uh, for the sides here. I think we're gonna add in some like cutters here. It's not looking pretty good. And uh, down here, I think we'll mostly have like. Um, some storage should be pretty good, and uh, then he's gonna be working under here with his workbench. So we could, I guess, we could put it out. So there's a, like a trick to put the workbenches out uh, down here, and you have to just put some flooring under it, and then you just drop in, you know, a workbench. Then you can remove this flooring later on. We only have this workbench, so we will throw in like the, the later one at a later point. But for now, we do this one, and just to make it look a little bit more authentic. We, I guess we can throw in a pile of rocks. It's gonna require quite a bit of stone to do it, but um, I think it also kind of makes sense to have it there. And what we can also do, I guess, would be to just like, you know, make our own little piles here with stone. Perhaps we don't have to have uh, as much though. Maybe we can just do it like that. Tiny little stone, one sitting there. 
Another one joined, Mika Karna joined us, let's check her out. One mind, free body and four spirit. And I will be naming people, just like before. Drop your name if you have name request, I will randomly select people to get lucky to join our town and hope you get lucky. One to two people per episode as long as we have Harfling is gonna be named. Banto, level two footman, awesome. Okay, so I feel like we got the base done here. We might want to do a little thing, like uh, the upper floor perhaps. We will see once I get uh, this uh, thing above it though. We need to have like a stair to get up. So we're gonna make it a little bit, not as wide. And uh, let's see here, we want to get up. Here should be quite good. Quite good, and let's throw in some large crates. We could throw in one of these, let's throw in one of these. That's a little bit better, got this little blue thing. And they're worth a little bit more, your halflings will think they look a little bit better as well. And let's throw in some uh, small. I think this uh, storage is going to be kind of good. Now I, I like to put some storage like under the stairs. Just. That's a useful place to have some stuff like that. And we're not going to have a door to get out here, they will have to go through this in and out here. And uh, now we're just going to go up to the next floor, which we're going to reuse. The cutters we've done in the past, so we're going to do the wooden cutter, this one. Go all the way around. Like so, and uh, let's get some floor. What kind of floor do we want? I guess this one could do. This is the place where the Mason will like sleeping at, living at, and they will do whatever you want to do up here. Then we can have these little things sticking out here. We seem to like to have those in uh, this game, so we're gonna do some of those for this as well, of course. That. And then we're gonna get the walls for the upper part. Which is not gonna be super high, really. I think we only do like four in height. So that's like two blocks smaller than normally, but this is kind of the way it is for this mason house. Anyone who maybe don't know what Kingdoms and Castle is, by the way, since ma many people maybe don't know what game it is. It's a city builder game, which is like a low polygon game. It's really amazing and it's pretty cheap, so if you want to go check it out, feel free to do it. You can find it on Steam, Kingdoms and Castles. And that's really what we're designing here, so maybe if you didn't know what we were doing, that's what we're doing. So a lot of inspiration, we're not copy-pasting the houses, but we're trying to make them look pretty similar, making them look pretty good as well. Yeah, he got a bed, and got a little dresser, it's nice to do some decoration, I think. And we don't have so many of these though, not so many decoration, we could probably throw in something more, but I feel like that would just be taking up space. We we could do like a, like a share, but I feel like... If we're gonna do a tavern later, which also Kingdoms Castle got, we're gonna try to make sure that everyone goes there to eat instead. I think that would be way, way more interesting. Okay, let's remove all of these and we're gonna switch them out to like a brown reddish, the same color we got going on here. That's looking good, and then we will have to do it here as well. Maybe not. I guess we don't really need it. Let's go, we'll go like that. But for this side, we should probably do this. Maybe we can do them for all of them. Let's do it for all of them. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now we're gonna do like the roof for this, and we're just gonna go for like a white color over here. And I'm gonna start like that. I'm gonna try to get more of the slope that Kingdoms of Castle got. I think this will be pretty, pretty similar. More similar than other roofs I made so far. Because we have a little bit more of width to play around with it, it's a little bit easier to do that kind of slope for it. And uh, the roof color for this is um, it's pretty much going to be this one. Could have a little bit of mix of colors though. And this house in Kingdom's Castle doesn't really, doesn't really have any like windows. So I feel like uh, we should also do our very own, and this is going to be a tiny little bit different as well. They do have these boards going here, but I feel like if we do like two of them instead of one, then it's going to look pretty nice, and do the same for this side. Like so, that's looking good. And here I probably want to throw in some windows. So we will have to like put them here, 
This is something that I don't, don't think Kingdom's Castle actually have for this house, but you know, it's kind of weird to have a house without windows. It's very weird to me at least. Maybe you guys live in a house without windows, do you? I would find that very, very strange. But for this side though, we're not gonna have anything. Okay, maybe before we throw on the roof on this, we're gonna do a second roof. So before we finish that, we're gonna start to do other thing that's gonna be around, around here I guess. Drag it out a bit. Something like that. And then we're gonna have it so it goes maybe one more. I'm gonna start from down here, hopefully I can hit it. No, that's wrong. So we're gonna have it here, that's where we want to be. Looking good, we're just gonna do the same thing for the other side. Like so. And then it's gonna be a sloping, slow sloping roof going up to this roof. Let's see how we would do that. It's kind of gonna go here from the middle. So let's go over to... I guess we could... I guess we could maybe use this color. But it's supposed to be a little bit more reddish, so I think uh, the clay colors might be... A better choice for this. I'm just gonna switch out the colors as we get up. That should I think that would be the best way. We get up to that and then it stops here. Like so. I feel like the slope is looking a little bit weird. I might wanna tweak it a little bit at a few points. I think that looks a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit better. Okay, so let's do the roof for this one, and we will be switching out a few colors, so it's gonna get, give it a little bit more like textures once we're done with this. Then we're just gonna throw in a slightly different color. I guess we can go with this one. Then we go, I'm actually gonna throw in one more window. I think that's gonna make it look a little bit nicer, I hope you guys agree. A little window at that side and none at this side. And that's gonna be pretty okay, so... This is our Mason's house and I think it's looking pretty interesting. So I feel like our Mason house, it's, it's pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoy how this one looks, I think it turned out pretty nice. We're gonna save this and how you will let you guys know when you will be able to download this in the future, so once... We're pretty much done with this, then I'm gonna let you guys to get a download for all these buildings. You guys can use them in your very own town. They will only require one single mod, Alpha 23. So the mod is called Floor Colors, you can get it from the video description. I try to add every mod that I use for my videos in the description. But for this town, for these houses, we're only using one single mod. So you don't have to go around and look for a million of different mods to be able to use these houses. Which I think should be pretty cool. I love the mods though, but I'm just making it a little bit more easier to get it going. Okay, so then we got the Mason House, no wind riser. Do we want to buy anything? Can we buy anything? I guess that's another question. We don't really have any resources. We don't have anything to trade with, but these guys are trading a lot of things. It looks like our granary. Awesome, it's done, it's done. So I would like to build the windmill, but I feel like these hovels to get some beds for our people. We're gonna try to make our people feel happier. So I'm really gonna try to strive to make my people happier this town. Make sure everyone's feeling happier, try to focus a little bit more on that. And I put the build bow for these two hovels. And uh, let's see if we can find a good spot maybe for where we can have the mason for a later time. If we can throw this one in. I think it's looking pretty nice. I love these buildings by the way. They're a little bit smaller than what I normally do. I tend to make pretty big houses. 
So maybe behind these hovels, we can throw in the masons. So this guy will go around town, he will be repairing buildings, that's what he does in uh, Kings and Castles. We have to refit a few windows. Sometimes it happens when you do it in this way, you just have to refit them again. Because they pop out for some reason. And I think that was all we had to refit. But then the start didn't look pretty good. Now we're getting some plans kind of for what we want to do around town and destroy these ones later on. Once we get more of our own houses going, it's gonna be awesome. But guys, thanks for checking out this video today with me, Banto. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think about our new Mason's house. Personally, I think it's looking pretty nice. And if you have any requests, drop them in the comments and I will randomly select one to two lucky persons per episode. So thanks for watching, hope you had a good, good time, and see you next time. Take care.